And it had to do with payments that his mother had given me. She'd given me some money, I think, while he was incarcerated. This was back in like 2016 um, for hundreds, like two, three, four hundred dollars. It's over eighty five hundred dollars, Your Honor. But she did not pay them through the child support system. So I just took them as her helping me out while he was incarcerated and couldn't make his child support payments because that's what she does. So the documentation that I have, I have submitted before and she contested it because she wanted to see my bank accounts to make sure that the payments came from me and not my parents. She, she denies my visitation with my kids wanted to make sure he was paying it and she wasn't paying for him. I'm not saying that his mom never sent money. This is a, a, a super modification of child support and motion to confirm arrears. We've been operating under a temporary order in this matter since the sixth day of September 2023. And it's got to reset the date's date. So I'll ask the state for an opening to tell the court what the state's requesting we do here. What the state understands agreements and contest to be. I see both Mr. Clifford and Ms. Waite uh, are present. So I ask for that opening at this time. Thank you. It's the state's understanding that the parents are in disagreement with a reset as requested by Mr. Clifford or a final order as requested by Ms. Waite. Uh, this case has been pending for a while, Your Honor. And while we did uh, cover the modification of support, which took into account um, what monies the three children are receiving um, as a result of Mr. Clifford's uh, disability or other allotment, um, the issue of confirmation of arrears has been reset multiple times for Mr. Clifford to provide information to this court. And it's the state's understanding that his request for a reset is based on him finding the necessary documents yesterday. Again, um, I don't believe Ms. Waite is willing to wait any further considering the pendency of this matter. All right, the court's taking judicial notice of the court file. Uh, further note for the record that uh, this matter was reset on the 30th day of uh, November and uh, was reset to the, the day's date, which is uh, at that time, Mr. Uh, uh, Clifford did appear and sign off on that order. Ms. Waite wasn't, did not sign off on it. I'm not sure she was here, but uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Clifford, uh, you were on judicial notice at least 45 days in advance uh, of any and all contested matters before this court. So the court can at least uh, proceed on a temporary order today based on the fact that there was 45 de days advance notice. Uh, and I'll uh, ask the state uh, uh, to, to make a determination uh, uh, and call him as a witness and ask, and, and the court will ask Payne why we shouldn't go to the final day. And if the court does not go to the final day, the court will make a decision on whether or not to make a, do a temporary order and give him the opportunity to uh, further, uh, come back at a later date with further information. Thank you, Your Honor. The state calls Jessica Waite. Ma'am, what is your full name? Jessica Waite. Who are the children in this case? Um, you misspoke. Uh, you named three children. Uh, my oldest son actually turned 18 um, a few years ago. He actually just had his 19th birthday in December. So he's not part of this cause anymore, but he may be involved in like their rearage amount. But currently it would be regarding my daughter, JC Clifford and my son, Colby Clifford. And so, ma'am, when we did the temporary orders at the end of 2023 or close to, we were only addressing current support for JC and Colby. That's right. And so, ma'am, as far as the amounts the children currently see, receive from Social Security, has that changed since the last order was done? No. And as far as um, Mr. Clifford's income, are you aware of any changes to that, ma'am? Um, no, I'm not aware of any changes to his income. I only know where he gets it. I just don't know how much it is because he doesn't ever provide the proof of how much he makes. Okay. And as far as you're aware, ma'am, his sources are, of income include Social Security or SSDI, excuse me, and then past military benefits. Yeah, from the VA, correct. Uh, and how do your children have health coverage at this time? Um, through my employer. What is the monthly cost to you for just the children? <laughs> I can't remember. I submitted the documents, but it's a lot. I want to say it's like 300 and something dollars a paycheck. And previously, ma'am, um, we uh, hadn't requested, uh, well, for today, uh, I believe, we were looking at medical, uh, which Mr. Clifford's portion would be three thirty two seventy four if he doesn't have a, a separate source himself. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then as far as dental, that would be $35.12. Correct. Um, and so is it correct, ma'am, that you are wanting this court to order reimbursement from Mr. Clifford for both of those beginning April 1? 
Yes. Uh, and then as far as the um, prior order, we had said that based on what amounts the children were getting from Social Security, his share mm -hmm. was the $139 per month. I believe so on top of the Social Security amount. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Okay. Uh, and then as far as the arrears on the case, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Clifford was ordered to make all of his payments through the state's disbursement unit, correct? That's correct. Your Honor, at this time, I offer into evidence State's Exhibit 1, the financial activity report. Based on this information, Ms. Waite, would you agree that the state record keeper for child support showed Mr. Clifford to owe arrears for child support in the amount of $36,793.23 as of yesterday, March 25th? Yes. And as far as the medical support arrears, we show a balance of $13,671.13. Yes. Um, and at this time, there's actually no balance for the dental support. Would you agree? Yes. Um, and so, ma'am, have you received any direct payments from Mr. Clifford since this case began? No. Were you aware, ma'am, that Mr. Clifford was wanting us to reset this matter so he could provide documentation regarding any direct payments he's alleging? Yes, that was spoken to me. Yes. And so, ma'am, um, do you have any idea what these documents might be or why it's taken him until this point to have them and produce them? Um, I mean, I have my theories, yes. Um, but I believe the payments that he's probably referring to when we saw the judge years ago, I think in 2019, this exact matter came up. And it had to do with payments that his mother had given me. She'd given me some money, I think, while he was incarcerated. This is back in like 2016 um, for hundreds, like two, three, four hundred dollars. Um, I think a couple payments were from cash. Um, but she um, did not pay them through the child support system. So I just took them as her helping me out while he was incarcerated and couldn't make his child support payments because that's what she does. So. And so, ma'am, the children's paternal grandmother, she's had a history of helping you out, period. Uh, yeah, when we were getting along better. Yeah, for sure. And ma'am, do you have any idea whether she had those funds because of Mr. Clifford or from him herself? Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, where the, where the funds came from. They could have come oh. from his bank account or they could have come from hers. I don't know. Okay, real quick, Ms. Bungad, has there been an intervening order between then and now? Because she's talking about uh, 2016, 2017, and says this, this has come up before. Have we already had a finding of what the arrears were uh, uh, prior to this date? No, Your Honor, because COVID happened and you postponed our case for two years. <laughs> well, I didn't postpone it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, but not you specifically, but it was postponed. Like we okay. were in the process of this. Okay. All right, good I just want to make sure there wasn't an order already in order. You may proceed. No. Okay, thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Um, and Ms. Waite, that payment record that you hadn't seen, uh, does it sound right that we started that back in 2015, October, so well before any discussions yes. about these direct payments? That's correct. Um, any other information you might have, Ms. Waite, on whether the court should give Mr. Clifford additional time or any idea about those funds that you received from um, Ms. <laughs> Mr. Clifford's mother? Um, so the only remarks I have regarding that are, um, this has been going on now since, like I said, 2019, I believe, um, when, when I tried to get an enforcement case going, it was impossible to get him served and to get him into court. And he just kept postponing. Um, this affects my job greatly. Like I'm a nurse in the operating room and I have to take my own personal PTO time. So I've missed almost a whole week of vacation time to do this court. Um, I miss work every single time, except for the last time. That's why I wasn't there. I couldn't get off of work um, or I just don't get paid, which affects how I support my children. I think that he's been provided every opportunity to defend himself and provide proof, which the judge has asked, actually asked him personally to his face to provide proof. And he has yet to do that. He knew that at the last court date also, and he came unprepared again today. And I'm tired and I just want this to be over. I just want an order signed so I don't have to keep coming and missing work and doing this, like sitting here all day. It's five o'clock, you know, and I haven't been able to do anything, include work all day today. Thank you, ma'am. Your Honor, I pass this witness. 
All right, ma'am, be back to you in just a moment. If you can call your next witness, please. Thank you. And sir, is it correct that you're the father of all three children in this case, although only two of them are currently minors? Yes, ma'am. Previously, sir, you were ordered to pay child support to Ms. Wade. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And in the temporary orders in this case, for which you were not present, uh, you understand medical and dental support were added? Uh, yes, ma'am. And sir, since you were present uh, last time as far as a reset to here, um, is there a reason that you were needing us to reset again? So the documentation that I have, I have submitted before. And she contested it because she wanted to see my bank accounts to make sure that the payments came from me and not my parents. I was incarcerated, still being paid by the VA, and she was receiving payments from my mother through money order and cash. I have the money orders. They say child support. I have where she started to fill out a direct payment form and then just stopped filling it out. I... I have the documentation. Like I said, I've submitted it before. Um, I was trying to find it. My paper, a box of my paperwork got moved to my roommate's storage unit. I found it last night and I have the documentation to submit. And right, so, sir, real quick, what's the, what's the, uh, what are you alleging of the, uh, the full amount? What amount are you alleging that you have receipts for? It's over $8,500, Your Honor. Okay. You may proceed, Ms. Munga. Mr. Clifford, who was that information submitted to before? The OAG. Do you recall what email address or what person it was provided to? I brought them there in person. And when was that done? That was done back in 2020. Okay, and sir. Hearing, and, live hearing, correct, sir? I'm say again? And a live here, a live docket hearing? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It was when uh, Ms. Dory Mystic was my attorney. Okay, good enough. Thank you. You may proceed, Ms. Mungat. And Mr. Clifford, did you also provide that documentation to Ms. Waite? Um, I didn't provide it to her directly, no. Were you expecting your attorney to do so? Provide her what information? Any information, sir, that you wanted this court to consider as an exhibit, not only was supposed to go to the Attorney General's office since we filed everything, but to the other party as well. I have zero contact with Ms. Waite. Okay. She she denies my visitation with my kids. And sir, 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 don't don't go don't go afield. We're right now we're talking child support, so only only the matters before yes. the court are, are yes, now uh, before the court. That's I'm just saying I have zero contact with her. Zero. Thank you, Mr. Clifford. Since you signed that reset order that the judge referred to at the beginning of our hearing, you didn't feel the need to confirm we had your information or anything since you said it was done in 2020. I mean, I submitted the information and I was told that I had to wait for her before I could get credit for it. And I don't know. And then Miss um, Miss Dory Missick, she was my attorney, but then she had to withdraw because she's not doing family cases anymore. Uh, anything else, Mr. Clifford, you wanted the court to consider with regard to your request for a reset or just straight out ruling on the credits that you're alleging you should get? Um, no, ma'am, just that. I didn't have access to the documentation because it was in my, my roommate's storage unit. I do have it now, and I can submit it. All right, sir, real quick. You said this is the same documentation that was entered last uh, at the uh, live court hearing in uh, uh, Correo County. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right. I'll, 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 I'll get a copy of the file and double check everything. But in the yes. interim, send a copy to the state. And uh, and uh, uh, if you don't have any contact with mom, I'll make sure that... Uh, uh, that she sent a copy of it also. Thank you. You may proceed at this time, Ms. Bungat. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Clifford, as far as the modification went, you had no problem continuing to pay the child medical and dental support to Ms. Waite as previously ordered, correct? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, sir. Uh, Your Honor, I pass this witness. All right, uh, ma'am, at the last, uh, I know it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. We, gone, we were on our second presidential election since the last time we were here. Uh, do you recall uh, that uh, what was uh, allowed the evidence at the last hearing, ma'am, at all? I remember um, vaguely um, this was back in like 2019 or 2020. I think he's mistaken because everything got shut down in 2020. He's probably thinking of 2019. Um, but it was like receipts from Walmart from where the money had been wired to yeah. me. And I'm not 
saying that his mom never sent money. I wanted proof that he actually paid it because his mom actually um, All right, here's the way with it. him a lot. So I wanted to make sure he was paying it and she wasn't paying for him. And that's here's why I way. also requested that it go through the child support system and not just pay directly to me, which never happened. Okay, here's the deal, Marilyn. Obviously, I don't have to allow it unless I want to. But if it says child support on it, it doesn't matter who pays it, okay? Believe they me, did, from what I saw, it did not say child support okay. on it at all. all right. So right. I would, you would have to look that up. But from what all I right. saw, and, it was again, just that's money I'm grandparents. I'm trying to get a copy of the, uh, uh, of the file and see what was in there. And let's face it, I got I got grandparents paying child support for dads and moms all over the place. So, yeah. It, it, but they they're, they're, they do it through the state disbursement unit. Well, and it but, definitely wasn't $8,000 worth. I can promise you that. Uh, I have my daughter's, Your Honor. I'm sorry, sir. Stay child support. All right, then, sir. Again, sir, it's not your turn right now. I was asking her, but again, I, I want you to submit those once again, and I'm going to have the uh, my assistant uh, have the clerk pull that file and send it uh, uh, the entire file over to me for review. I don't usually have the entire file coming over for Coriel for uh, uh, Zoom hearings, but look like I need to have this one so I can take a look at it. Anyway, uh, has Miss Bond got any questions of either witness at this point? Uh, none at this time, Your Honor. All right, then. All right, here's the deal, sir, ma'am. Even if it is the entire 8000 it's going to be a drop in the bucket what still owes you, okay? Yeah, I mean, with the interest, it's a killer. But well, I, I, I want to get a copy of the file. I'll see what we said back in 2019. And again, you're right. Uh, we went to, uh, we by this time, uh, 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 2020, we shut down. Uh, COVID was, uh, was gone. Was, it was here and we were gone. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and see a guy get a copy of the file, get a copy of the docket sheet. And uh, uh, I'm going to do this. So, ma'am, we don't have to do a reset on this one. Uh, but again, uh, Matt, sir, you say you got a copy. Send that uh, those copies over to the state. And uh, the state has a mom's uh, email information. And I'll have the state uh, CC her anything you send in. Uh, I hate taking things on advice because I have a tendency to forget about it. But I don't think I'm going to forget about this one. I'll allow, and I don't want my assistant again to call back the clerk's office, but again, it's 530 and they're gone home. So yeah, but we're not, we're not going to do another hearing. I will see, uh, but I will ask the state, uh, uh, sans any credit, I'm looking at perhaps giving Mr. Clifford, or I've already given him uh, based on the, uh, 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 Mystic's uh, 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 prior information or denied, uh, is there, what is the state specifically asking we do here today as far as further orders. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. The state is fine, and it appears the parties are also fine with maintaining uh, child support current as from the temporary order, um, making sure that mother is reimbursed for the medical and dental and the father is paying his share not covered by the Social Security payments. Um, and then, Your Honor, we're fine with conf confirming arrears as shown on ours. And then if you find any credits appropriate, we'll take that into account as well. And just appropriate repayments at the end of it all, Your Honor. All right. Here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 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 reset this matter. And the parties do not have to appear at the reset. OK, that's the key. All right. I'm just resetting it so it doesn't fall through the cracks. And the court can make sure I get a, uh, get a copy of the file or... Uh, or if I need to, uh, oh God, drive out to Coriolan and take a look at the file. <laughs> the clerk doesn't, the clerk doesn't do that. Cause, uh, you know, I, I have not uh, uh, been out there to visit the county clerk since uh, uh, my old, uh, the uh, old county clerk retired. So this might be it. Yes, I have. I'm sorry. I've been out there once. So we're good. But anyway, I want to get a call. I want to see that file. And if I got to drive out there and take a look at it, I will. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get a copy of it sent over. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, uh, kick this to a a, a docket uh, uh, to make sure that falls through the cracks, and uh, we uh, uh, take a look at the information that's been provided to the court uh, through the actual file. And uh, let's we set this a couple of weeks out, uh, three weeks out, and uh, I'll, uh, like I said, uh, uh, make a review and, and put on the record that information. Ma'am, you don't have to be here on that reset date, sir. You don't have to be on that reset date. You can. I'm not going to be taking any more testimony. Uh, I don't well. Uh, and both both of you have to appear on that date. If I if I do take more testimony, but if there's no one of you only show up and there's going to be no testimony, I'll just I'll just rule on what I got. Obviously, I'm going to keep the current child support as is based on the circumstances. Um, uh, uh, he's allowed to uh, get a credit for any Social Security SSDI. 
that the children are, uh, are receiving in his behalf and any uh, uh, VA uh, uh, a lot by disbursement, uh, an involuntary disbursement that you allow that you are getting, ma'am. But I don't think that's the case here. Just I'm not so. getting any. And so it's just the SSDI and mm -hmm. then the child support based on what his actual earnings are through his VA and his SSDI. Uh, so uh, and that seems to be not uh, not uh, agreed to. So the only thing I got to look at is seeing if there's a credit already granted for the uh, 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 direct payments or, or whether or not I'm going to, uh, if there wasn't, whether or not I'm going to do anything at this point. Uh, but again, uh, uh, even with 8K in there, uh, is we're still talking about $40,000 at, at 6% interest. So again, uh, the interest alone on both these items are, uh, are going to be above the $250,000 a month, uh, just to cover the interest. So, uh, how's the uh, next oldest child in this case, ma'am? I'm sorry. How old is the next child who's going to emancipate at this time? Next, next she's year? 16. So we got two more years. So it's going to be a while before she's gone out of this one. So yes. Yeah. All right. Before you know it, it happens in a blink of the, an eye. I'm, I'm telling you. Just uh, and it's over. Uh, <laughs> I'm having I'm having Easter with a former Marine and a lawyer uh, and uh, uh, and four grandkids. So we we'll see you yeah, again. Yeah. It's, it's been a blink of an eye. Believe me. It yeah. is. So, it yeah. is. So not a problem, ma'am. All right, folks, I just uh, had one one quick question. I'm sorry, because we're talking about their arrears. I did send in some paperwork regarding like um, extra expenses, like uh, my son had gotten in trouble with court a couple of years ago um, due to like some mental health things, uh, medical bills, dental bills, like braces, um, so that I could get reimbursed for like at least half of those expenses, those extra things that don't get covered by insurance. All right, here's the deal, ma'am. Uh, right now, the, those, uh, my, and again, I'll need a court file. I, I don't have pleadings, I think, for unreimbursed medical expenses. Obviously, you or the state can file that uh, request and, so, and show that you timely sent him requests for a 50 50. Well, I sent it to the AG's office. They asked me That's for it at the last court hearing. All right, then, well, again, ma'am, uh, uh, he has to be placed on notice, and it's going to take a new set of pleadings for that. But for right now, the only thing I can deal with is the child support and the child support repayment. And if you're asking for a, a, a further order dealing with the- uh, I don't even care. Reimbursement. It's fine. I just okay. want it to be over. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the deal, ma'am. Read your paperwork very carefully because there are specific time frames that that paperwork has to be forwarded to him. Now, it may not have been able to report to him when he was in prison, so that's that's uh, a break there. But going forward, make sure you send anything and everything in conformity, and the court will always take it up. I lost years ago, had a client who decided to send it all in one lump and some and try to get some little extra money for the summer, and the judge had to deny because it wasn't sent in conformity with the order, okay? So mm -hmm. uh, be sure to do that. And if, the state, if there's already something on file that was included in the original pleadings, then I'll take a look at that also. But for right now, I'm looking at going ahead and coming back on this. And uh, and if I if I after I get a copy of everything, the court I get the court file. If I feel like I need to get y'all back in here at a later date, I, I'm gonna I'm, God forbid I'm gonna try to not do that, ma'am. Uh, but again, once I see the file, it may it may I may not have a choice. But for right now, I'm looking at coming back uh, just uh, on, uh, just to make sure uh, we get a copy of the file and the court can make a ruling. And I'm looking at uh, the April 23rd. Uh, uh, just to get uh, the file over and see what we have, okay? Okay, Your Honor. The dates I was given were the 17th and the 18th, but it's kind of like you okay. said before, right, the so, next okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was doing that based on earlier, so we can do the, we can do the 17th. That's fine. Let's do it the earlier, the better. Yes, Your Honor. All right, then, folks. I'm just resetting that as a place marker. Neither of you have to appear on that one, but if you want to, you can. And it's, uh, uh, and uh, by then, we're doing that. The docket has been moved to 9 a.m., so just to FYI, all right? All right, so one final thing, one final time, ma'am. Miss Wade, any other questions, ma'am? No, sir. All right, Mr. Clifford, any other questions, sir? What, what would I have to do, Your Honor, to to address the uh, visitation? Uh, hire a lawyer, sir, and file the paperwork, or do it yourself. Yes, sir. All right, thank you both very much, and uh, I'll, I'll see you if I see you on the seventeenth, and I'll let you know if there's a problem based based on the uh, on the file uh, on that date, and uh, obviously the state will send y'all uh, information if I have to do a reset based on the file. But for right now, I'm hoping to finalize this on the 17th, and I'll finish writing this one up. And uh, are both parties free to go? Ms. Thank you. They are, Your Honor. All right, you're both free to go. Thank you. We're off the record.